Yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back on there really quick, of course. Of course, Pokemon Journeys were here, so of course I fucking just did one already with the Ryan episode. Team feels like I just did that one. Um, I feel like I just did that one, though. Of course, though, we got some new news for um this episode. Of course, we have um, Go basically battling it out in a full battle royale. Um, of course, it's very simple, very easy stuff, like I said. Um, this episode's actually very, very good for like Go's development and everything. Really good, but also it's like kind of a shaft near the end a little bit though so yeah but when my video cuts out and stuff like that you already know how it is episode reviews always get messed up i don't care so yeah um post community's been a little bit crazy for me the last couple of days though but whatever um but yeah though um of course i got a jinx in the video and stuff like that of course you know got it's a typical youtuber thing though but yeah um i probably, I probably just will go ahead and burn the review then after that talk about it and stuff like that of course though like i um usually do <laughs> This episode's actually very simple and easy. The next episode is going to be really good. It's about Lily and her father, I, I believe, coming back and stuff like that together. I think it's about that. I was like, yo, okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, I actually want to review that episode next time. So yeah, of course, the episode starts off, of course, with Go and Ash, of course, going to um, a little, like, Sea Harbor and Hoenn, little, like, abandoned battleship, basically. I forgot where in Hoenn. Um, but yeah, um, of course, they um, see, like, the details and everything, like, this is going to be a battle royale. Only Go can go in, pretty much. Because, of course, if Ash goes in, he's going to be one-shotting everything like he does. He only allows to bring one Pokemon. He brings a Teleon, which makes sense because, you know, underwater advantage and everything, of course, though. But only going to be one person left standing, so, you know, for the project, you know, trial project you know, and everything. So, yeah, the trial is pretty much coming to an end. We're getting, like, full-on, like, you know, ready to go and everything, of course, though. But yeah, of course, Ash here is going on and everything, of course, and being super nervous because he can go. Does not battle. It's, it's, it's like opposite episode for Ash, basically, because Go does not battle. Ash does. And of course, when Go in that situation, is gonna mess up a little bit, though. So, yeah, I kind of get it, though. But yeah, though, um, of course, Go up on signal and everything, of course, ready to go, ready to battle and everything. Of course, Ash turns on the outside, some of the different turns inside. One by one, they're gonna be popping out left and right and everything, of course, though. So, yeah. Then, of course, um, Go asks me to a horse, which is not surprising because we already got the teaser for this episode already teasing horse. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, though, of course, you see all the different turns they got about, they're pretty much gonna work together the whole episode, trying to get, um, tap each other's backs, get through this. Of course, um, Horus uses Moonblast with Gardevoir, one of those Pokemon in the end Pokemon franchise at this point. But yeah, um, start, they start to, um, just steamroll all the turns and stuff like that, of course, some sneaking it from the shadows, some just coming from behind. Of course, trans working together, being scheming and stuff like that. Again, typical stuff, though. Of course, Ash, Jiren, Go on and everything. But of course, but I know, you know, left to right, there's going to be traps, booby traps, all that stuff, of course, though. So yeah, of course, they start left shotting, right shotting Pokemon. And some of the, um, these new trainers in the background, again, just background trainers for this episode. We already know how that goes pretty much already, though. They're going to be, like, evil, betray them, stay backstab them. But yeah, of course, um, the battle just started. Of course, Ash is still trying to go. But of course, I was her name. Uh, of course, you know, basically, it's going to be tough, though. So yeah, they're going to see another trainer in her light bird. Of course, see another trainer in his flagable. I believe that's what it's called. Um, it's been so long. Um, but yeah, of course, I see, um, they seem to work. Yeah, but I, like, I really do like her design. I like both of their designs, actually. Yeah, of course, because the evil, skinny bad guy. Like, the, that guy from the Colorless League, that one episode. And, but it's not bad. I really want to see her come back, though. She actually seems like a pretty cool character design. I didn't know it looked like it's, you know, not a Team Rocket grunt right there. But yeah, of course, you know, and Horace are having each other's backs, scrolling through the trial and everything, of course, though. So, super nervous about what's going to happen, like, just discovering, like, left and right. Everything just being, like, triggered and everything, of course. But yeah, though, um, of course, like I said before, again, cutouts and stuff like that, I'm going to be insane in this video. But yeah, um, but yeah, though, I'm here, like, really all over the place today. Um, but yeah, of course, this is already seeing the countdown. They start to rush the trainers left and right now. Some will come out the shadows. There you know this episode goes. Of course, we see Guard of War. Um, and Horror started growing up to go, of course. So again, like I said, he's kind of getting, like, drama from, you know, because again, we already know as a kid, he... We know Horace, he didn't act, Horace didn't do anything. He got sick, and of course, Go got, thought he was making fun of him, you know, playing him and stuff like that. But, um, of course, Go actually has, like, you know, has, again, we know this has been his work since the beginning. He has trouble making friends. He's now how to work together as a team. He hates doing it. He wants to do everything on his own. Again, and it makes sense, though. Again, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, he's actually 24 7, but they bring out the rest of each other pretty much. And they are different, though, so yeah, of course. Again, like I said, Go is really just opposite Ash. That's why I, that's why I probably like Go so much. Again, the series is just so good back and forth, though. But yeah, of course, Go starts to work together more with horror stuff. Again, it makes sense because Go has uh, friendship and stuff like that, of course. Though, of course, then they started taking out characters left and right and everything, of course. Started to work together more with their co coordinated um, synchronization tra um, traps. I'll say tricks. Um, of course, of course, we see these two dreamers right here just in the shadows ready to go, though, of course. We got a couple more characters left. And of course, they, um, 
I forgot her name, but again, I always forget her name. And so I'm pulling out left and right, poison Pokemon, um, trap Pokemon, of course, and of course, go and horror start to plan ahead and stuff like that, of course. And they actually get trapped within the poison mine, so of course. By the way, this movie is Blood Prince from Sonic 3, I'm sorry to say it, because you have poison, you have traps left and right, you got scums, everything, of course. And it turns to start falling, you know, uh, free, I'm just going back, of course, as saying, you know, it's really not fair and stuff like that, of course. But, you know, go ahead to kind of, you know, go forward with it, because again, it's more of a teamwork episode for Go. Because all the four last four trainers, final four, looking, really just kind of get trapped together and stuff like that. They have to kind of, you know, work together. Of course, horses turned up Go in its own way and everything, of course, though. But yeah, um,. But yeah, of course, and oh, and of course, horse is still going through not labyrinth, so of course, from Sonic and stuff like that, of course, though. But yeah, they're going to do um, everything, of course, Final Four basically come together. Um, you know, basically, these two fake argument trying to lure in them and stuff like that, of course, go seem a little bit suspicious. Um, about the church trainer's life, but of course, they backstabs, thunderbolts. Um, them trying to take them down one by one. Again, we all know this was a trap anyway. It was so obvious. Like, these guys are just some thieving poke rats up in here, so of course. Ghosting right through the roofs and stuff like that, of course, and starts to, um, of course, you know, try to, um, you know, have horses back and everything, of course, and they try to, you know, leave them off, try to get them separated so they won't, you know, concentrate or anything. But, of course, um, you know, go with being with Ash so much, just flips that fight back a little bit more, though, so that's actually really good. I actually like that part of the episode. So, yeah, of course, um, they start to work together, uh, synchronize again, and just, you know, full on just beat them down at this point, though. So, that's actually really good, though. I like that. Uh, of course, they walk away, and of course, the last two are, of course, go in Horus. And of course, you already know they got to battle it out and stuff like that. Of course, and Horus trying to give up his spot. While, of course, Go, you know, wants to give him it and everything, of course, like he deserves this, of course. But we really know he really wants to LB. Like, we we all know he wants to LB. But yeah, of course, of course, Horus doesn't like, you know, want to give up without a fight, pretty much, though. So that happens. About uh, one last time, though, of course, they're just super sad, super messed up about this situation. It's just like all over the place, pretty much, though. So, yeah, it, it's like super duper, like just messed up. They had to go through this, pretty much. And of course, a horse, like, literally just flat out one shots on Italian, which is just super sad. Like, it, it, it really is at this point, though. So. Yeah. But yeah, this last part is kind of really hard, though, so of course, Go and Horus battle out. And of course, obviously, Antillion gets one shot because it's, you know, battling so much, you gotta make him down. And just, yeah, like, the ending for this episode, poor Go, like, he got really shafted hard, though, and of course, um, get that or something? But yeah, then of course, um... Okay, I think I'm just hearing cars outside and stuff like that. But yeah, then of course, poor Go, he just gets like one shot in his episode. Of course, he's still pissed off about it. Even though, no, he doesn't really show it though. But man, this really just messed up though. Like, I feel really bad for Go this episode. I just feel really, really bad. Because he did so good and everything, of course. Of course, it's. it's duh. Those people back there, of course, they all of that. But of course, Horus moves on and everything. Of course, though, Ash being super excited for Go and everything. And Horus, you know, battling it out and everything. And of course, Go just getting like a little score, just being sad about it, of course. And that's where the episode um, ends off on. Just. Uh, let me go back in. But yeah. I really feel bad for Go this episode, though, because he did so well. He did so good coming so far. And then he just. This happens. But it's obvious, though, like, you know, they're going to be like, okay, Go's going to. Okay. Go's gonna, you know, catch me on his own and stuff like that. Like, we already knew it was gonna be a thing anyway. It doesn't like working well with the team and stuff like that, of course. So, I just really feel bad for Go because he did really, really good, like, coming so far and everything. I just feel, like, really, really bad. Like, he did so good. He came so far. He did so much already. And it's like, all that progress is basically gone. Like, everything he went through, all that hard work is just blown out the window. It was like working hard for something and then you just kind of get shafted at the last second. Like, you're doing the test, then you feel like, you know, you think you studied really hard, but yet you kind of feel. I kind of, it's like it's kind of like that mentality right now, and I just I kind of get what goes going through. This happens to everybody in life. It's just something that happens, and I just kind of hate it though. So I kind of do get it in everything, of course. So, but yeah, though of course we already know goes gonna catch on its own. We know about like all that stuff. I mean, typical Pokemon stuff though. But yeah, um, skip it there. Gonna go ahead and end the video there for sure though. So yeah, um, nothing like really crazy long though. Just, the episode was good for Go. I like the whole episode overall. Let's go for him. Him and Horse got to work together. Seeing, of course, the past trauma goes just like working with well with others, you know, that goes. That just plays this plot piece right here, like everything go. That's been with Ben through. Kind of like how Chloe like, did, like everything she went through. She went in her performance with Serena. 
of course this would go. I'm um, just working over the trauma he's past. Basically everything from everything from the past combined into one of See you guys are though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We're all for doing enough. So stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you going out putting on mats. So be really ready to vaccine if you can, touch grass, go outside, touch some goat beans, eat some cereal, typical stuff. So we can think about all this info. No, of course though, just like you hate it again. Very simple, very really easy episode review. I like it. I think it was good overall for Ghost Story Arc and everything. Forget those two rats right there. So yeah. See you guys for the other one though. So.